Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I rise today to pay tribute to a wonderful man, Stephen Savage, the chief of the Plastow Police Department, who passed away on Friday after a three-year battle with cancer. We are deeply saddened by the loss of Chief Savage, a beloved member of the Plastow New Hampshire community who dedicated his life to serving his fellow citizens. For Steve, family came first. He was a devoted father, husband, and brother. We hold his wife, Kristen, and their sons, Billy and Michael, in our hearts, and we will keep them in our prayers. We share in their grief and will be there to support and comfort them during the difficult weeks ahead. From a young age, Steve was called to serve, and he answered that call. After graduating from Stevens High School in Claremont, New Hampshire in 1965, he enlisted in the Air Force and served our country in Vietnam. He attained the rank of Sergeant and earned several commendations for his military service. Steve was a very patriotic person. After returning from Vietnam, Steve went on to earn a degree in criminal justice from Northeastern University he joined the Newport, New Hampshire Police Department in 1969. That was the beginning of an exceptional career in law enforcement that would span more than 40 years, including positions at the Drug Enforcement Administration and the Baltimore, Maryland Police Department. After coming home to his beloved state of New Hampshire, in 1977, Steve was named Chief of Police in Haverhill, New Hampshire. He served as police chief in Haverhill till 1988, when he was appointed police chief in Plastow, New Hampshire. Steve served as police chief in Plastow for 28 years. He was the longest serving police chief in that community. In Plastow, Steve was a friend to all, and he was a constant presence at the local ball field where he coached baseball. He volunteered his time with the Friends of Plastow Recreation. In addition to all of his responsibilities as police chief, Steve was a highly respected leader in our law enforcement community. He served as president of New Hampshire's Police Chief Association, where I had the privilege of working with him when I served as attorney general. He served as president of the Rockingham County Police Chiefs Association. And he was a member of several other state and regional law enforcement organizations. Steve was a great leader and he was so well respected by all members of law enforcement throughout New Hampshire. His talent, dedication, and expertise helped set a gold standard of excellence for New Hampshire law enforcement. In a fitting tribute just a few weeks ago, the Plastow Police Department named its Tactical Training Center in Steve's honor, ensuring that his legacy will not be forgotten by the people of Plastow or the people of New Hampshire. He touched so many lives during his distinguished career, and one of them was mine. I had the privilege of getting to know Steve and Kristen and his family when I served as Attorney General for the state of New Hampshire. Steve was such a kind, compassionate, devoted person, and he was a man with a big heart. He had a vibrant personality that would light up a room and a great sense of humor that never faded despite his diagnosis. I was so proud to call Steve Savage my friend. I feel fortunate to have known him, and I will treasure our friendship together. And there's so much that I admired about Steve Savage. He worked tirelessly to keep his community safe, and when he was diagnosed with cancer three years ago, he didn't let up. He just kept trying, spending every moment he could with his family, while also continuing to lead the police department and taking part in community activities that he enjoyed. In fact, in May, he served as Grand Marshal for Plastow's Memorial Day Parade. Steve and his family, and particularly his wife, Kristen, faced his illness with such inspiring courage. As you know, cancer hits so many people. They found a way to turn what was a tragedy in their family to good to help others. The Savage family and the Pollard School 
work together to organize the Run for the Savages, a 5K run walk benefiting the Dana-Farber Cancer Center and the Jimmy Fund. Even in sickness, Steve wanted to help others who were fighting the disease. A profound reflection of his generous and caring spirit. And I know that the run of the savages will continue and I will certainly be running in it again, but it's really a reflection of how much the Savage family has given back to the community and what an inspiration Steve's life can be for others who are facing the horrible disease of cancer. Steve was determined to live life to the fullest, and he did so right up till the very end. Our state lost a truly great public servant with the passing of Steve Savage. New Hampshire law enforcement lost a brother. So many of us lost a great friend. The Savage family has lost a loving dad, and our hearts ache for Kristen, Billy, Michael, we will continue to keep them in our prayers and stand with them during this difficult time. They're an amazing family. Steve went beyond the call of duty in everything that he did as a father, as a police chief, as a friend. And because of Steve, New Hampshire is a better place. I feel honored to have known him. His legacy will live on through all those lives that he touched. We will forever honor his memory and we will continue to be there to support Kristen and Billy and Michael. And we're just thankful that someone like Steve Savage came to serve our state and has been a friend to so many of us. Thank you, Mr. President.